What up, though, Pistons family? The Detroit Pistons just had a heartbreaking loss to the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a game the Pistons should have won. They were up by double digits late in this game. And unfortunately, they blew the lead. Ten-point leads in the NBA really can go very quickly, and it did in this game against the Milwaukee Bucks. Huge game by Marcus Sasser and Cade Cunningham. They led the way for us. Sasser with 26 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists. He was doing it all. Sasser had a career game tonight. Best game of his career by far. He shot 3 for 7 from 3 point. He was hitting everything. And Cade Cunningham, 2 points off of his career best. 33 points tonight. 8 assists. 8 rebounds. Cade was stuffing the stat sheet. He was doing it all in this game. And really a game the Pistons should have won. But it can it gave me flashbacks to the Miami Heat game. Where the final seconds we needed a 3 to win the game. And Monty Williams could not get creative. We had a horribly sloppy play to finish off this game. Cade ends up heaving it from half court. After Jay Crowder had tipped it away because... Everyone in the stadium knew that Cade was going to be shooting the three. It was the same thing as the Miami Heat game where we just didn't have a good play at the end there. It was not creative at all. It was completely obvious. Everyone knew that Cade was going to get the ball and shoot it. We should have had a guy like Marcus Sasser, who was shooting the lights out of it, had 26 points tonight, shoot the ball. We should have shot, made something creative for him or Beef Stew or... A better play for Cade. There was just a horrible play at the end. This is the second game that Monty Williams has cost us, in my opinion. The Heat game, we should have had a better shot at the end. This Milwaukee game, we should have had a way better shot at the end. And I'm getting kind of frustrated with these non-creative plays. Monty Williams is the highest paid coach when we signed him. He was the highest paid coach in the NBA. And... With that, I was expecting a lot of the better plays when the game's on the line. These guys put their heart and soul, blood, sweat, and tears in this game tonight, and we deserve to win. The Pistons deserve to win this game. Pistons had 43 points in the third quarter once Giannis was ejected from this game, and we still can't come out of this game with a win, guys. Like, I'm very frustrated with this loss, especially we're already on a losing streak. We needed this win for the momentum for confidence, everything. Cade, 33. Sasser, 26. Killian had a great game. He had 14 points. Asar Thompson, 15 rebounds. This guy is an animal. He's one of the best rebounders that's not a big player in the entire NBA. Not just out of rookies, in the entire NBA. Asar's one of the best rebounders out there. If you guys disagree, let me know down in the comments. But Asar is putting on a show as far as rebounds goes. He only had 6 points, but... That's not his role on the team right now. His role is high effort. He had a block at the end of the game, which should have helped us spur us to a win, but it didn't. Unfortunately, the Pistons, so we started off, it was kind of rough. We were down during the first half. Cade carried us during the entire first half. And then the second half came, and the Bucks were being crybabies this entire game. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the refs and the calls. I think Cade should have got a foul at the end of the game there, but the Bucks were just constantly complaining at the refs this entire game, getting technical after technical. Giannis, he was complaining, got a technical early on, and then later on in the third quarter, he went down, got a dunk on Isaiah Stewart, and then demonstratively taunted him and stared him down right in his face and we know beef stew he will punch you in the face he's that type of guy he's an old school ben wallace rick mahorn type guy like you, you want to be demonstrative beef stew will punch you in the face so instantly the refs already knew that that was going to start a problem they gave Giannis another technical foul so he had two at that point and he was ejected from the game and as soon as he was ejected the pistons got a huge energy boost you could just see Everyone was playing with a ton more intensity. Shots just seemed to be falling a lot better. And overall, we just looked amazing. After Giannis left the game, we were on a 50 to 30, somewhere around there, run. We, we went up on them 20 points after Giannis left the game about. 
And like I said, 43 points in that third quarter. That's what really spurred us to get that big lead in the fourth. But at the end of the day, Dame came in, he checked in, and he led the comeback for the Milwaukee Bucks. Brooke Lopez hit a huge dagger three there at the end. And overall, I mean, a night where Giannis gets ejected, you really should have won this game. Dame Lillard on the other side had 34 points. He carried the load after Giannis went out. But, guys, this is a game that the Pistons should have had, a, you know, a better chance to win than what we got at the end of the game. Were, are you guys happy with these final plays? I mean, I get Cade has 33. I, I wouldn't mind him taking the final shot. But just one screen, it's so obvious. It's not creative at all. What did you guys think of that final play? Were you happy with it? Were you disappointed? What are you guys thinking about Monty Williams and some of the plays he's been drawing up? I really thought he, he you know, he's been deploying the players well. Killian's been playing great in that starting unit. Sasser's been huge. He's giving Sasser, you know, Sasser got 28 minutes tonight, so I love the usage out of Sasser. Sasser, 11 for 17 from the field, 3 for 7 from 3. Sasser, he deserves the minutes. He deserves even more minutes. He's a great player. Him and Cade together are a cheat code. Sasser and Cade are going to be lighting up the league for years to come. I'm very excited, guys, but just in the small short term, this game tonight, highly disappointed in the loss like I said, Pistons were up 10 late in, the, in this game, in the fourth quarter. And somehow we end up choking the lead. The last five minutes there, we were basically making zero field goals. We basically had zero field goals in the final five minutes almost. So it was really tough. We went cold at the end of the game there. And that's kind of when the wheels all fell off for us. We had opportunities to win this game. But we just couldn't get it done in the end. Unfortunately, the losing streak will continue for the Pistons. We hate to see it. We hate for it to happen like this. But once again, I'll say it again. You were the highest paid coach. You got all this money. Please get creative. Please get creative at the end of the game. Do some type of double fake action. And somehow Isaiah Stewart's all of a sudden cutting to the rim and he's wide open because everyone double teamed Cade. It's so obvious. It's so obvious that Cade's getting the ball there. And the Bucks knew it, clearly. Jay Crowder tapped it away. Cade runs back. He Now he's heaving up a half-court shot with three seconds. It's just unfortunate, guys. In the third quarter, I was getting ready. I was happy, excited to come do this game recap for you guys. And I love doing these for you guys. Drop me, by the way, drop me a like if you guys enjoy these game recaps. Drop me a comment. Give me your thoughts on the game. And what did you guys think about Sasser's performance? Cade's performance. Cade went off. Sasser went off. It was so great to see. I was super excited. And then I was completely let down by the Pistons blowing the game. Another loss for the Pistons. It's really rough right now, guys. We're in a rough part of the schedule. These are all championship teams we're playing. Sixers, Suns. Bucks. It just keeps going and it's not getting any easier as the games go on. Monty Williams, luckily, he is a good coach, guys. I'm not going to go too far. I'm just criticizing these final plays in specific, but Monty's a great coach. I love the patience he's having with our young team. He knows we're young. He's having a lot of patience, but he's not giving us excuses. So we played really hard tonight. We played with a lot of heart and effort. Those were some of the positives. But at the end of the day, Pistons lose. Final score of 118 to 120 to the Milwaukee Bucks. Tough loss for the Pistons. Hopefully we can get in the win column in our next game. That's going to do it for the recap, guys. Please be sure to drop me a like, comment, subscribe. I'm Troy. This is Detroit Fan TV, and I'm out. Peace.